So in keeping with the vintage Halloween theme that I absolutely love, uh, this is a sign that I made uh, that I had saved this quote on Pinterest and I had it for like two or three years and I just love this quote. It says, on a clear starry night, Halloween is such a fright. Witches roam and goblins too, then home to bowls of pumpkin stew. And so I just love this quote. It gave me that fall feeling. I love pumpkin stew. I have a great recipe. Hopefully one day I'll, I will share it. I have a great recipe for pumpkin stew. Uh, anyway, I wanted to display this quote in my house. And so I needed to figure out how I was going to do that. So I designed this sign. There uh, is a wood crafting store here in St. George. And so I, and you know what? I went to Walmart and I saw that Walmart is selling supplies for wood and so don't don't think that you don't have access to these kind of things you just have to get creative and you don't have to do what you know what you saw someone else do create your own design so i uh i found these plaques which i've also used one of these in my uh my halloween wreath my skeleton halloween wreath that i recently posted so these wood signs i used uh these rhinestones came from walmart this newspaper uh, uh, print I got at Joann's, it's just scrapbook paper, and I mod podge that on the back. And then if you'll look closely, if you can see this, this is a different paper, and I just cut it down strips, a cardstock down the side, and that was at Joann's too. So, and then I didn't, I like the look of dimension. So this gives this a little bit of a 3D dimension. Uh, I only, obviously I couldn't find the word Halloween. So I did, uh, I just used an H. There was a wood H and I covered it with glitter and then I cut this out of just orange paper and I glittered, I, I put Mod Podge glue and coated that with glitter. So the Halloween, the only part of that that's three dimensional is the letter H. And then this is just black vinyl. I use my Silhouette Cameo cutter to do that. This is white vinyl. I buy everything in bulk and I use it for all my craft projects. So, you know, you spend $10, $15 on a big, huge, chunky roll of vinyl that will take me the next 10 years to go through. And I have done so many craft projects. Uh, it's surprising to me that I haven't gone through it yet, but it's really good to buy these things in bulk if you're a craft crafter. So even these knobs, these little knobs, these are little wood pieces. These are, these are knobs like you would find on furniture. And I just coated them. I painted them black and I mixed, I, I mixed my paint with water. Okay, and the reason I do that is just to make it go on super easy. Like even this uh, board, this board, I didn't use solid black paint. I just took paint and mixed it with water and it almost kind of goes on like a, like a dark glaze. It absorbs really well and it's just, you know, you don't feel like you have to use a ton of paint to coat something. So this sign was super easy to make. I made it in just an afternoon. I might have had to let, like I had to let this dry before I could put the vinyl on and so I did that the next day. But for the most part, uh, this was just an afternoon project. And then on the back side, on a different day, oh, I put a Thanksgiving quote. So I don't even put this up, I keep it out for Thanksgiving. And it says, how we use our blessings. And I came up with this quote, by the way. How we use our blessings is the true measure of thanksgiving. Blessings are meant to be shared. Give love, give praise, give hope, give thanks. So that's my quote. You can give me credit for that. Uh, but anyway, I just took different pieces of scrapbook paper and I tore them. And I like the look of torn paper, the torn edge. And then there's also these little stamp, you know, aging stamp kits. It's just like a a sponge, you know, like you would like like you would use for regular stamps. But they're an orange and yellow color, so I would just use that around the edge. And then obviously I cut vinyl for the front. Uh, if you have uh, the ability, I don't have great handwriting. And so I like to cut, but if you have great handwriting, oh my goodness, this would be such an easy project. So, and it's, and, and it's you know, the fact that I don't have to put it up, and it's and it's a dual a dual sign use the front use the back so this is one of my favorite 
creations and I, I, I display quotes and I'm gonna show you some of the quotes I have around my house so that you can see. I display quotes that make me feel good, that make me feel happy, that inspire me or give me that feeling during that time of year. Pumpkin stew, that's my thing, I make pumpkin stew. Nearly every single year I'll take out that recipe for pumpkin stew. And so these are things that just bring out good feelings for me. So when I craft, it's something that will evoke an emotion in me when I display it in my home. Not that, not just that I made it and that I think it's beautiful, but the feeling the words give me. That's also uh, probably the reason why I write so much. So uh, if you haven't checked out my book, Allure, The Birth of a Good Witch, it's got a great message. And uh, it's part of, it's the first book in my Halloween, children's Halloween book series. I've already written the second and my husband, and I just barely wrote the second, just barely like in the last month, maybe month and a half, and my husband's like, are you done with those illustrations yet? Are you done yet? And I'm like, I'm working as fast as I can. Because <laughs> it's so, like the Allure of the Birth of a Good Witch is super cute. This book is just, oh, it's just, I, I, I still, I'm like, I wrote that? <laughs> uh, it's so cute. It has such a cute message. And I just can't wait to share it. But I can't share it until I get the illustrations done. And I'm just not there. So um, I'm working as fast as I can uh, to get all these projects out and share them with you. Uh, and so I have a post on this. I'll share this with a post. I have a tutorial of when I made this. I'll attach this video to it with me explaining it. So anyway, just want to share this. Uh, hope you're having fun this October. Go visit the everythinghousewife.com.